So here, nestled in the brightly colored cable Serengeti of Yara Rack. <laughs> I'll stop pretending to be David Attenborough. Uh, this is another Mystic Circuits Zero HP bundle of loveliness. Um, this one is an R gate. You get two inputs, one output and a trigger output. We can combine gates and clocks and triggers or fluctuating voltages such as smooth random, LFOs and even audio. So let's dive into some patches, have a look at this thing and see why it's so useful. Zero HP from Mystic Circuits. So the main thing you would do with an R gate is to sum gate or clock signals, different pulses and triggers. These will all combine through the R gate and come out of an output. On this green trace on the Mordax data and on the first input on that light blue cable, I have a simple 50% pulse width uh, square wave gate that is just triggering the audio damage uh, neuron. Now I'm going to plug in a 16th note, which is this blue trace. If I was to unplug the signal that's feeding input 1, you hear the 16s. These are coming out of Pamela's workout and the cables are different colours because they're first going into data then coming out of the buffered copies into 0HP orgate. Now you might be thinking well why aren't we getting all 16th notes? Because I can see them and they're all there on the input. An orgate, including this one, will output the maximum voltage. So because the first three 16th notes are happening during that longer gate on the sort of quarter note pulse that we've got, they're not coming through and the yellow trace on the data shows us the output signal. This is what's going and triggering the drum sound. If I was to go in and actually change the pulse width of the first input, this would start to change. So let's check that out and watch this top trace to see the pulse width change. That's giving us a different rhythm, commonly known as pineapple in rhythm, music, drum teaching terms. Pineapple, 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 pineapple. Lots of my drum students hear me doing that. Let's make it even shorter. And they all come through. Even longer. And we can cancel it out altogether. So I'm summing a 16th note and a quarter note, but the quarter note has variable pulse width, as you can see on the scope. So we're going to stop taking the times for our pulse, and I'm going to take just a random gate. It's still at 16th notes in terms of its musical quantization, but this is random. And because why not, let's just add some modulation to the neuron. So nice easy way of summing signals together. That's the audio damage neuron into a dope for spring reverb if you're curious. Pamela's workout on the main signals. So another cool trick with this R gate is half wave rectification and summing of two CV signals rather than combining gates and triggers and clocks and using this as a max output. You sometimes see devices that are min or max. This will always put out the maximum voltage that's present at either of its inputs. So the first in is this sine wave on top of the data, green trace. This is into input one, coming out Yellow trace is what's coming out of the R gate and we're going into aperture, the filter, just basic modulation. So you can hear the positive slope and then it cuts. That's half wave rectification, getting rid of all the negative voltages. If I pull that input, the next input is on this blue trace, that's input 2 and that's a slower ramp wave. Again on the yellow trace, which is our output, you can see it rise and drop and come back up again, cutting out negative voltages. Now with both of these plugged back into my LFO source, 
You can see we get a more unique shape. There's always the maximum voltage between zero and five volts between the two inputs. We're still getting some held periods where there's zero voltages present on both ends, so we halfway rectify and cut these out. Now let's change that ramp wave to a, say, sample and hold, stepped random. Again, a nice unique way of combining voltages. So first, the background audio is completely unrelated in this part of the video. Just thought it was a nice patch to kind of take us out with the last little thing to look at and my general outro spiel. So I'm taking an input, which is this green trace, a gate into the Mystic Circuit's 0HP OR gate. And I'm taking the trig out and that's this blue trace. And you can see when the voltage goes up, we get a little trigger. And also we get a downward negative trigger when it's going down, which maybe isn't that useful for a lot of drum modules and things, but it also won't do anything, which is cool. So we get a trigger on those changing voltages. If I change the gate length, the pulse width of this top input, you will see that the trigger out changes as well. So now a longer gate, let's take it right down nice and short. We get a different little trigger out. Just another little bonus from Mystic Circuits that we get the trigger out as well as the normal out to mix those two ins in this R gate. Go check out the Vactral LPG 0HP video. Also the video on the Mystic Circuits Vert, which is a fantastic module I did a video demo of a while ago. We're gonna have more videos on this 0HP range coming soon. My patrons are getting exclusive content. If you wanna go support me there, that's much appreciated. The guys that do, thank you, you're awesome. Hit like and subscribe and comment, keep this thing building, and thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.